I want to start with a um, quick overview of clay, just for anyone who is really new to clay. Now, if you've been working in clay for a bit, then you can you know, likely skip this, but I wanted to quickly make sure that we're on the same page and just you know show you uh, what we're working with. Also, because um, clay does frequently update their software. So right now, I don't think there's a version uh, edition that they have somewhere, but now, for example, they recently released the workflow option. So I, um, I'll likely do a couple of, let's say lectures or, or videos on that as well. It's not something I would personally use a lot. And from what I, um, um, from what I learned from the team is that it's mostly geared towards um, more, let's say, new users of Clay who maybe might have some issues with with the table interface, not something that they're used to. But then again, you know, you might be someone who could benefit from using the workflow option. So I'll do some lessons on that as well. And then you have your workspace right here. Then you can go to workspace settings. And so billing from here, you can set up a lot of integrations. I don't set them up from here. I set them up from, you know, inside a table and that's what I'll likely do as well. Um, but you know, we could set up some, you know, integrations in here as well, just for you to get an idea of the different options that you have. Luckily clay is a really straightforward software. Um, in most cases with, 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 when it comes to the interface, when it comes to setting up things and integrations, it just really is, you know, you plug in your API key most of the times is just that, um, and you're good to go. So that's, um, uh, that's, you know, good for us. Very helpful. Then, um, here you have your tables, your table view. So, um, and you know, clay university at the time of recording, they're going to release a lot of, you know, sharing table options and where you get like a store where you can buy tables they're upgrading the university their plays etc so this is definitely something that you want to keep an eye on as well there's going to be a lot of helpful stuff in there then clicking into a table um and so this is uh, a tem scoring table that i built with people in there as well as you know some account info then um in the tables, you know, this is where we're mostly be working. Then there's a few things you can do here where, um, so the access button, not something that I really use. Pretty much everything that we do starts with this button right here, add enrichment, um, or with the add column. So I see different versions of Clay. It depends on which um, workspace I'm logged into, where some are still on. The, the older version. So right now I'm looking at the older version, then a different workspace that I'm in, uh, the one for, you know, for growth engine X, that's where it shows a different button, there were different options. So there could be some changes here as to, you know, some differences as to what you're seeing on your screen, but you know, don't panic. Uh, pretty much like this is pretty much universal. So whenever you add, click add enrichment, then, um, you'll likely see the same view as I do, but then again, some, you know, this view recently changed and it could still look like the old view. So um, in the end, you know, the idea is generally the same. You click add enrichment and you look for the enrichment that you want to, that you want to work with. Me personally, I don't really look at these because I already know, you know, what um, enrichments I want to go with. Uh, so I just search for those then in, in some cases, um, so they have, you know, some recipes that could potentially be helpful. Uh, don't really use them personally. Um, there is one interesting option in a lot of cases where um, you can save things. Uh, if, for example, you're using the, the API connector, which is something we'll dive into later, then you're able to save that setting and then you have you know your your templates right here that um you know that you've saved they can then that you can then use later so in other cases you're able to save whatever you're building so that you don't have to re rebuild or uh, reset up um uh, if only that was a word right um the the same thing whenever you're building a new table um so that's a quick overview you have your you know 
an enrichment button there, which is pretty much your your best friend, and that's what you will what we'll be working with the most, uh, as well as the Formula One right here. So those you know those are the most important ones. Merge columns. That's um, that's a pretty interesting one as well. We'll dive into that one later. That one uh, is pretty useful in in some cases, or there's one main use case for that that I found. And one thing that one future I think is a little bit underutilized is um, uh, the auto deduplication, which is something that was released fairly frequently. So you can deduplicate whenever you want. So you can say, okay, deduplicate based on this column right here, um, dedupe right there. So or you can filter based on it or dedupe based on it. But you can also auto deduplicate. So whenever you add new rows to this, so you import new rows, they're coming from wherever you can auto do that. So you can turn on that one. And um, for anyone who is scared of um, wasting their clay credits, first of all, there's a full section on not wasting your clay credits or you know um, uh, saving clay credits later in this course. But it could be helpful that whenever you start building out a table, just turn off the auto update function. And then now whenever you add a new column, new rows, you hit save or whatever, it shouldn't run. Um, so that's that. And then there's the view graph function, which um, allows you to visualize the table a bit more. Not something that I often use, but some people find it helpful to then visualize their, um, their table and what it um, what actually does. That's a quick clay overview. Pretty much everything that we'll be doing will be taking place on this screen right here or this screen right here. And, you know, the setup that comes after selecting, selecting an option. Um, so those will be the main views that, um, that you will want to familiarize yourself with. And hopefully this lesson helps you a bit with that. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.